sponsor. Advanced Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll free at 866-262-9076. All right, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a DIY project for the Airvolution Sport to attach the rail blaza mount. And as you can see right here, I ordered the coffee cup mount for this particular rail blaza. Now, what you're going to need here, you have to order the rail blaza four-point mount. And you want to pick up quarter 20 screws, and I would recommend the hex head screws and definitely recommend stainless steel because this will be in the water. So what we're going to do, this is a real simple job, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all mounted up. And you want to use Loctite on this. You don't need a lot, but you want to Loctite just a little bit of the thread here. Like that, that's all you need. All right, <clears throat> now decide which, way, which side you want the lock and unlock to be, okay? Now, I wanted to have the unlock in front of me, so it'll be on my left-hand side, right in front of me, and unlock it, pull the coffee cup or whatever uh, rail blaza attachment I have in there. So, we're going to line up these holes, get these screws pre-started. Now, this, is, uh, this particular mount is already in your boat and ready to go. All you have to do is get the rail blaza mount, and you're done. Now, this will stay in the boat, but it will not hinder the folding process. Now, these only have to be snug down. They don't have to be extremely tight. Uh, you want to use lock washers on these also. And there we go. Now the rail blaza mount is already installed. Now to unlock it, you push forward on the switch like that. And then you take whatever accessory you're gonna put in, take it and lock it into place and you're good to go. And guys, this is all set to go. You can see it right here. And you can get that, put your coffee in it. Now I was on the uh, water on water test I did with the Airvolution Sport. I want to see where my legs would be with regards to this mount, and this will be actually perfect. So now what we're going to do is work on the nose mount. This one took a little bit more work to do, so let's switch over to that. Installed in the boat is a quarter 20 mount nose camera mount system. Now what you're going to need to do is have a mount like this to make this thing all work. The problem is you can't buy this type of amount that has the screw that goes in, so you're gonna have to make this part. What you do is you get a quarter 20 screw, cut it, round the edges on, and uh, that's all you have to do. Then when you're ready to go. All right guys, you can see here, I got the GoPro all mounted into the nose camera mount of the Airvolution Sport. Uh, like I said, you have to do a little bit of a DIY to make a quarter 20 stud. In other words, that's a headless bolt about a half an inch long and then screw it into your adapter and then use whatever system you want here. Uh, I have these and I call them erector beams, uh, but I have them in three different sizes and it really works cool because I can also put my 360 camera on this particular nose as long as I can operate it from my cell phone because you can't reach it. So whatever camera you're going to put on here, make sure it's either voice activated or can be turned on, turned off, and operated from your cell phone. 
Over here is the Rio Blaza mount already set up and ready to go. So we're gonna go out and uh, test all this stuff on the water. So hey, we'll be back in a bit. Well, good morning, everybody. Ah, <laughs> I am talking to you from the nose-mounted camera on the Airvolution Sport. Uh, I got that all done up. You can see on the instructions. Now, I did have a problem down here this morning, and the problem was don't use a plastic mount when you're putting in that stud. I got down here, my arm hit the little bracket thing, and I snapped that thing right off. Fortunately, I had a another aluminum mount base, and I put the stud in that, and we're back in business because I thought I was out of business for a minute. Hello and welcome to Paddling and Pedaling Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. D. And as you could see from when I was talking from the nose camera on the Airvolution Sport, uh, it worked, but I did have a problem. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, I snapped that plastic mount right off where I had the stud in. Uh, I hit it with my arm, putting the boat out, and because uh, you want to have all that stuff set up before you launch. And I hit that thing with my arm, and that plastic just snapped. Fortunately, I had an aluminum base uh, in my little grab bag that I bring with me when I'm out testing stuff. And I swapped out the stud, put the stud in the aluminum base GoPro mount, and now I should not have a problem anymore. So, two things we're doing today, guys. Uh, we are doing the uh, rail blaza mount today, guys, and in the coffee mug, as you can see here. Works perfect, no problem with the legs. And I had a, a thought about a paddling problem, no clearance problem with the paddle. Um, and that's one thing, if you put a rail blaza in, make sure that the pole is not too tall because what it will do is it will hinder your paddling and you don't want that to happen. Now the rail blaza mount, uh, you saw the instructions right at the beginning. It's a real easy uh, and somewhat very inexpensive mount. Now the mount from Rail Blaza is $15. Uh, and that's the four point mount with the locking device system. Uh, go down and pick up stainless steel screws. I recommend uh, hex head screws, uh, four lock washers, four screws, and uh, the screws are one inch long. That'll make sure you have good connection and not go too far into the base of the boat. Uh, and the, the extra lock washer there gives you the space in case you start to bottom out. I didn't, but uh, it's good to have them anyway. A little bit of Loctite, as you saw in the instructions. Uh, that'll just keep it there. And uh, FYI, it did not hinder the fold operation at all. So that was really great. I want to be able to see. Uh, not, I don't need much reason to go paddle. But uh, I wanted to, to do the coffee mount system and get that all done. But I also wanted to test out the nose camera mount that is uh, preset in the Airvolution Sport. Uh, again, you're going to have to take probably a, an inch and a half, quarter, 20, something like that. Uh, cut it off with a cutoff wheel or your Dremel cutoff wheel and cut it down to about three quarters of an inch to make a, a stud. Round those two ends, well, just round the cut ends off. And then now use an aluminum GoPro base mount. Do not, do not use plastic. I found that out the hard way today. Uh, and then use whatever uh, system you want to raise it. Uh, you saw the erector set, I call it, uh, piece that I use. And uh, that is really great because I have three different sizes. I got a short one. You don't want to use short because you'll get the nose of the boat in the shot. All right, here's the setup I've got, guys, with the Real Blaza coffee cup mount. You can see it's all set up here. Now, what I've done for the Airvolution Sport is I've took the uh, inflatable foot brace from my Airvolution, and I put it in here, and it also holds down my 360 camera, as you can see right here. And then there is the setup on the nose camera up there. So what I wanted to do in this particular video is to show the application of the accessories that they have offered you guys uh, with this new Airvolution Sport. The setup I got up front there is the GoPro 11, but I am using the DJI dual mic system because that far audio away from me, your audio is not gonna be clean and crisp. So the uh, receiver's on top of the uh, media mod on the camera itself, and then I have the microphone 
actually magneted attached to my jacket, which is kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to uh, get some footage here. If you're going to put a camera up forward, you need to be able to operate it either via a cell phone or voice command. I just link into the uh, GoPro Quick. I uh, got that all set up so I can get the connections done and operate the camera and all that kind of thing. Uh, the camera itself is in a, a GoPro Media Mod. I'd recommend that uh, if you're going to do any ambient sound stuff without the wireless mic system. It's got a good mic on the uh, on the Media Mod. It, it, it's not great, but it's way better than the stock mics in the camera itself. Um, so anyway, hey, we're going to continue our paddle, and uh, boy, this lake is like glass this morning. Uh, we'll be back in a bit. Guys, if, and now, if you're wanting to get a very versatile camera, and I'm going to show you the mounting system that I have on my Airvolution and on the Airvolution Sport. I didn't have to change anything for mounting my pocket, too. All right, this is the setup I have. Now look down here, I've got a flex tripod that wraps around the inner side of the cockpit and then I have a leg that presses up against the side here. And I have a paracord with a uh, clip and then a clip that I mount right here in case something disastrous happens. I also use a power bank, as you can see here, plug straight into the camera. I'm running a 128 gig uh, card, so uh, this will pretty much handle anything that I want to do. Hi guys, uh, I wanted to make this video short. It's basically a extension video off the Airvolution review. And today we were going to show you guys the um, accessory items that they preset into the boat that you can utilize. One is the four point Rail Blaza mount. Uh, that'll cost you $14.99 from Rail Blaza. Uh, you wanna get four uh, stainless steel screws, four lock washers. Uh, the screws are one inch long. Once you got that in there, I mean, your coffee cup thing will work out really well. Let me unlock this thing real quick. And as you can see, I got it unlocked. And uh, now I just lock it back into place like that. And But you can pull your, your coffee cup out or do whatever you want to do. Uh, you can run a camera mount there. You can run a cell phone mount there. Uh, but whatever it is, watch the height that your paddle, uh, make sure you clear it or it'll obstruct in your paddling. So you want to do that. And the other item, uh, which is included in the Airvolution Sport, is the nose camera quarter 20 receiver. And that's on the nose. Now, word of caution, make sure when you're putting in that stud, uh, it's, it's three quarters of an inch should be enough to make the stud. You just cut it off with a cutting wheel, blah, blah, blah. And that's real easy to do, but do not use a plastic GoPro mount. Use a metal GoPro mount. Anyway, We're gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next one.